Hi, I'm Paul from Trek It. We come up to our woods today just to talk you through some of the Fell Raven products. This is the awesome jacket number 68. It's from Fell Raven's numbers collection and it just really epitomizes what Fell Raven are all about. It's a super tough, super reliable jacket that will perform superbly across all conditions. I know Fjall Raven are pretty much known for sort of deep, dark Scandinavian winters, but this jacket performs all year round. So you get G1000 Eco in the main body. It's called Eco because it's recycled polyester and organic cotton mix. And then you get G1000 Heavy Duty across the back of the arm here, over the shoulders, the hood, and also nice little detail here across the bottom of this big bellows pocket just to prevent wear and tear. The jacket is highly water resistant. It's breathable, it's windproof. Kind of think of it like a natural fabric soft shell jacket. It's really versatile. One thing I would say about this jacket is you've got to really like it because this thing is going to last you for years. So you've just got to be in love with it. And I am, I really want this piece, it's fantastic. So let's go through some of the features. It's absolutely stuffed with pockets. You can carry everything here. You can almost forget your day pack and carry it all on your body if you want to. So let's start from the outside. You get two big cargo pockets here, which have got bellows on to allow for bulky objects. And then behind that pocket is a simple slot hand pocket just to get your hands out of the wind and out of the rain if it's cold. Same on this side. Two chest pockets, which have a simple fold over. So no faffing about with the zip if you need to get to something quickly. Nice security on the poppers there. Quite unusual for a jacket of this type is you get two poppered pockets on the back of the jacket just to give you extra storage should you need it. Undo the main zip and you've got a neat feature here is the way they've sewn the pocket linings is it allows you a great big poachers type pocket on the inside where you can just drop stuff straight in. On this side, on the right hand side, you get a zip pocket storing valuables, things you don't want to lose. So, the main zip. It's a great big chunky zip. So you've got to make sure you get this bad boy done up properly. Huge. Not going to wear out, not going to break. You get a nice wind baffle behind the zip there, stop the wind coming through. And then that's secured with the high quality brass poppers which run all the way up. Another great feature of this jacket is that it's obviously designed for harsh, harsh environments. So the hood is one of their wind hoods. So it's massive, it's a big hood, okay? But it does volume down, so you can draw it in and get it smaller. Let me show you. So in its standard form, it's got a wire reinforcement right the way round, which runs right down here, so you can get this to the shape you want. And like I said, there's a rein adjuster at the back here. So you can pull some of this volume out if you've just got a beanie or you've just got it on your head. If the weather gets really nasty, let that out and then fold the brim out here. And what that gives you is a, like a tunnel. So you can really hide yourself away inside the hood so the wind's cutting across here. It's not going to get in your eyes. It's not going to chill your face. Really protective. And then when the hood's down, it acts as a really nice draft collar around your neck and you can snuggle in and get out of the elements. Because this jacket, the jacket number 68, is part of the numbers range, it just gets some really nice finishing touches. These toggles here are finished off with vegetable dyed leather. You get really nice good quality brass poppers all across the jacket. All of the zip pullers use the same vegetable dyed leather toggles and nice and big so you can grab hold of them wearing gloves or mitts. If you look on the inside of the jacket, the main poppers here are reinforced with leather to stop them pulling through the fabric in extreme use. And you might notice this taping here. These are the main seams that are bound in the same way that they bind the seams on their rucksack. So this thing is super tough. And like I said, you've got to really like it because it's going to last a lifetime. It's an awesome piece of kit. And I've completely stuffed these pockets with all my essentials just to show you how much you can get in here. Just before I start, there's a really nice feature. 
On this particular pocket at the bottom here, there are poppers which allow the pocket to really bellow out. So if you've got bulky items in here, you can release the bottom, just allow that to spread out. Okay, so what have we got? This will give you some idea. Big bellows pocket here. Head torch. Uh, my trusty good luck scout woggle and my trusty Trekit thermometer and dog whistle. Sawyer water filter. GPS. Compass for when my GPS batteries fail. Binoculars. Knife. Ah, block of Greenland wax to re impregnate this bad boy when the water repellency diminishes. And that's just the outside. You got the inside. Trusty Trekkit water bottle stashed away in the poacher's pocket. And then in my zip pocket for security, I've got my phone. This jacket is windproof and breathable, highly water resistant, thanks to the Greenland wax impregnation. Now these aren't waterproof, but you can keep them waterproof or highly water resistant at least by impregnating with Greenland wax. The jacket comes already impregnated from Fjall Raven. So straight away, straight out of the box, go out, out in the rain, the water will bead up nicely and keep the jacket dry. One thing that's worth pointing out about the Fjall Raven jacket number 68 is its sizing. Now in my Skogso jacket, I wear a large, but in the 68, I wear a medium. So this is a medium on me. I'm six foot three, got about a 42 inch chest, about 13 stone, give or take. And you can see that this is a good fit on me and there's enough room in here for an extra layer. So I've got a, an Arcteryx Atom underneath and a fleece and a base layer. So I've got enough layers here for winter hill walking. And also because the G1000 fabric used on this isn't stretchy and this is quite a heavy, solid jacket, the R Raven have built in two shoulder pleats to allow freedom of movement. Let me demonstrate. Those pleats just allow you that movement across the shoulders if you're doing a bit of scrambling or you just want to be able to move your arms around a bit more easily.